So we just got a major dumping of snow. Probably about 14 inches, 12 to 14 inches people are saying. And uh, I think I'm gonna venture out for my, uh, for my run. Stay tuned. So you probably wonder what I run with when I'm out there in this cold, because it's just miserable here. It's only like 25 degrees right now. So having the proper gear is so essential. So uh, I have four pairs of gloves that I that I use to run with here, and they're all rated by uh, by how warm they are. Okay, so check this out. These are my light little liners. Um, I mean, these are good for like 45 degrees, maybe just a touch of wind. You know, someone just take the take it off, or unless I want to put these inside another pair of gloves uh, and make it warmer. These and I use the same brand. I love this brand. Manzella, if you can see that, and they rate everything from warm, uh, warm, warmer, warmest. So of course these are just warm. These are warmer here. These are their wind gloves. Uh, they're called their wind stoppers, and they're reflective. And then uh, here's a pair, warmer pair of gloves. These are my, actually my favorite gloves. They got the uh, touch on the uh, fingers, so I can still operate my phone, my touch screen. Uh, these are really cool. Then here they're one of their pair of their warmer ones, but not their warmest. But I like these because they're very warm, um, and my hand my hands fit in all these very comfortable. So I can still grab things and grab my phone and and uh, zip my jacket if I had to unzip a pocket. So yeah, so it's super essential that you have the right equipment. Now I don't typically run with a hat on when it does get colder. You know, so something to cover my head. Here's just a little little thin hat that I can put on. When it's cold, like super cold, like zero degrees, I'll put on this face mask, okay? My nose gets covered up and my mouth gets covered up. A little hard to breathe through that, um, but it definitely makes that cold, it buffers that cold air a lot. When it comes to running pants, these were my favorite for years, these hind running pants. Really awesome, nice and thick. Um, I could go out to those like zero degrees, I've been out in those before. Um, I have these uh, CW, CWXs, if you can see that right there. These are winter running pants too. These are really nice and warm, not quite as thick, but both these pants here were, gee, they were about a hundred bucks a pair. And uh, they, they last the distance, I mean, these, the hinds are, gee, 12 years old and I can still wear them. The elastic shot a little bit. Um, and these pants here, these CWXs, probably seven years old. Um, but I definitely got my money's worth out of both of them. I just picked up this Nike pair right here. Um, this dry fit Nike pair. That's, uh, that's really cool. Uh, it's warm. They got pockets on this side here, which is really awesome. I can throw a phone in, um, the camera. Then when it's really cold out, I got these Nike pants here. And they're just much more of a pair of uh, sweatpants that are really thick. And these things really, really do the trick. The key to running in cold weather is to actually have the right equipment. You can't go out there and expect to be cold. Um, it just doesn't work. So when it comes to shoes, these are a pair of my regular running shoes. Lightweight, super lightweight, six ounces, Brooks, Pure Drifts. Um, I also have some Vibrams, and then I can run into these until it's about 35 degrees out. Um, but after that, uh, under, underneath that, under 35 degrees, I got to switch to shoes. Um, these really aren't that durable as far as the weather, especially the weather I'm going to go out in today, all the snow. So I have a pair of Adidas here that are full support. Unfortunately, I don't like full support, but they're really warm. Um, I don't wear them often, it's, they're an older pair, so I, I've had them for a couple years. And I just wear them in times like this when it's snowy outside or wet outside. Um, these, if it's wet outside, ever, I feel every single drop on my toes, on my feet. And it's uncomfortable with wet feet and socks. However, when you do run with these, especially in the rain, these are awesome in the rain. These are my favorite to run with in the rain. Uh, you don't wear socks under here. I have a pair that I do wear socks underneath, but not these ones. And uh, when, it's when it's raining out in the summertime, to run in these, you run through every puddle, it feels awesome. But uh, not right now, this time of the year. So we got to put these away. So back to these. It looks like it's going to be uh, uh, these pair of shoes today. My Nike pants. I'm going to layer up with two shirts on. 
Um, probably my medium gloves, my warm gloves, not the not the warmer, not the warm the warmer gloves. Probably gonna be these here because it's in the high mid 20s to high 20s. And uh, I'm gonna get ready for my run now. My upper body. Let's see what I got here. I got this awesome craft jacket. Uh, zippers up, and it's mesh inside. I don't know if you can see that. There's a mesh inside there. It's very breathable. It's an awesome jacket. Two pockets on the outside. It's slim fitting, very lightweight. Um, really just an awesome, awesome jacket. So uh, I wear that up to, depending on what shirt I have underneath, maybe 25, 30 degrees, I can wear that. Here's another Hind uh, running shirt. It's a pullover. It's warm for the winter. Really, really nice. Nice and thick and durable. When it gets cold out, I pull out this, this Columbia Titanium, which is super warm. I mean, this thing is, I can go with this um, and a nice shirt underneath, probably down to five degrees, even zero degrees, as long as I got the right underlayers on. This is really, really awesome, nice and thick. I've had this for years. If you buy good stuff, you can have it for years, years. and. Here's another Hind. I love Hind as my one of my favorite running shirts, uh, equipment, pants, and everything. This is a Hind. This is a pretty warm um, shirt right here. So uh, fits really nice. Layers. Use this using my my first layer. When I when it's when it's colder out, I like to wear things that zipper, so I can unzip them if I want to. You know, as, as I'm getting hotter, because usually after the first mile it's the toughest. But once you get a mile, two miles in. You're like, oh man, am I hot? It's sweating out. It's too hot. I got to ditch my gloves. I got to ditch this. I got to ditch that. So that's frustrating when you're out running and you know you're two miles away. You're like trying to stash stuff. So it's really important to like have the right equipment, you know. And uh, things that zip up for me are perfect. So this is what I'm running in today. Got like 12 inches of snow. the mountains. So, I don't mind running in this kind of weather. You know, you get, you get in the groove. It's actually a lot of fun. Car splashed me the other day. I was running in weather like this. I got turned all slushy. I had about two, three inches the other day, four inches. The car splashed me. I was, I was cruising on the street. It's in the middle of my like runner's high. It didn't even phase me that I just got all this snow and stuff splashed all over me. Just kept running. I was like, man, that kind of felt good, you know. So. So usually I run over to the school because the school's got the best, uh, best parking lot. They got a big parking lot. But today, that's not the case. And it's been snowing since 4 a.m. and it's 4 p.m. right now. It's been snowing a good 12 hours. We got 12 inches in there. Man. And uh, the school is not plowed, just this little strip here. I plan on taking advantage of, but man. So we will say, Marcus, why the hell do you go out in that weather? And I say to them, why the hell wouldn't you? There's nothing wrong with this weather. You know, it's, it's not a summer day, but if you're fit, you're active, you're in shape, and if you're determined, if you're determined, you will do it. I know people that, won't even go to their neighbor's house to exercise. Their neighbor's got a full gym because they don't want to cross the street or drive a block in, in perfectly fine weather. They're like, no, no, I'm a home person. I'd rather work out at home. In the meantime, they don't have the stuff at home. So it just depends how bad you want it. I gotta tell you something, I want this running bad. Last year, 2013, was an off year for me running. I only ran uh, 700 miles. I had three injuries that I was nursing, and I had uh, a little laziness mixed in there. 
the year before I did 1,400 miles. So this January 2014, my goal was 90 miles. And uh, I got sick. Didn't get that sick because I rebounded pretty quick. But between me being a little sick and zero degree weather, I missed a full week. And I ended up the month with 83 miles. I was seven miles short of my goal. So a little bummed out. So that's how bad I want it. I want to, uh, I want to feel good. I want to be in shape. I want to be healthy.